The salty waters of the ocean are always moving. Ocean water, pond water, lake water. Once you've been in the water so much and seen so much of its beauty, you always feel the need to go back. It's like the ocean just drawing you in to go back. My name is Alex Carrier. Originally, I'm from the Alps in France, but I've lived in the U.S. most of my life. Um, moved all over, but moved to Tampa when I was really young, like five. And uh, I've always had a love for wildlife. Between me and the individual shark that I'm diving with, there's never really like a relation between us, but more of like kind of understanding where, you know, I'll never trust a shark 100% and be complacent with it. And that's kind of the same that the shark gives back. So I guess that's kind of the energy that we trade in the water is they're wary of us and I'm wary of them. Every single shark is completely different in the way that you need to approach it. You could go shark diving 2,000, 3,000 times and never have anything negative or bad happen and then just have one time where a shark shows you know, a different side of it or something happens in the water that causes a shark to act a certain way and you just have to be prepared for that situation. And that takes, to be honest, years of, of diving with them and the only way that you can really become deeply aware of the situation with the animal is by having a passion for the animal. If you're there for something else, glory, fame, whatever, the passion isn't going to be there and you're not going to be able to really get in the mind of that animal, which is really what um, is crucial in shark diving and also is like medicine for the soul, just being able to try to think as closely as you can uh, how that animal is thinking. I try to dive every single day that I can, and I'll do that for the rest of my life, definitely. Yeah.